Right, next in the hot seat, time to do a full bag fitting, sub 70 style. You need four down to be able to kind of hit the window. Yeah, now tech wise, we can't really do that, can we? I haven't had a club fit in five years, so I'm incredibly interested to see what my numbers are. We are doing another giveaway, very kind, of Nick and the team down here. A little utility sub 70 iron here with is it graphite project X? Yeah, so it's a own sub 70 shaft 5.5 four iron replacement. That was all that giveaway at the end of the video. Some of these are absolutely stunning. And if you watch the first video, I've been impressed with everything so far, but I have been a club fitter myself. The important factor at the end how much would a full bag of sub 70? gear go for because it's premium looking stuff but the prices are pretty competitive right nick talk to me what have we got on the table here most forgiving 799 full hollow head quite chunky yeah Perhaps. quite quite chunky well, very chunky. <laughs> from what i've seen about five to six hundred pounds per set is that right yeah the newer stuff is a little more what are we talking for to pitch and wedge for the pitch around 720 730 okay. But then these ones, yeah, you're talking about mid 500s for four to pitch. As we're going down the table, most um, forgiving. Yeah. Then onto the 699s. And then these are the 699 Pros. Is this the next jump? This is, yes. Cool. So what this is, it's a sleeker version of the 699. Slightly smaller top line, less offset. I say it's close to a player's iron, you can get hollow. Can you talk to me about the stuff that looks amazing? What about these bits down yeah, here? So these for are example? the MBs and CBs from last year. Yeah. This is the new ones, which we do. You know, milled soles, milled back, a bit, little bit of weight movement, a bit more forgiving off centre hits. Plus the new model, instead of going CB to MB, yeah. there's now a TC in between. So again, you've got a bit more of a blending option, whereas you, before you just had the two options. Yeah, CB straight to MB, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine wedge. Yeah, the military looking ones. These ones look like they're um, off the side of a tank. So these are Tommy Armors. All the forge come in black, satin and raw. We then go into the 649. And this is the smallest head design. Yeah. So right, this is yeah. actually, this has been around for about two years. Smaller top line. I mean, that top line is, I mean, you could butter toast with that really, couldn't yeah. you? That's sharp. It's as bladey as you get. Yeah. Toe weight, kind of stop it going left. Yeah. Because normally the player using this doesn't want it to go left. Got you. Most of the time. Right, that's the iron low down. Uh, I'm going to hit some. And rightly so, we start with the irons and we're going to build the bag around that. What are we thinking? <laughs> this gives you an optimum flight window. This window is going to be the most consistent window for you. And we know my launch is too high anyway. Spin loft. This is what's creating your high launch. Yeah. We want to be hitting about 26 degrees. We need four down to be able to kind of hit the window. Yeah. Now tech wise, we can't really do that, can we? No, that's more of a you that's thing. Me. Right, let's hit one more. Let's see if I can hit a bit more down on it this time. The one you said where you feel 180 is too far. Yeah. So, for your club head speed, yeah. your output should be 181. Got it. For you to hit it 170, you've got to swing it slower. Got it. The reason you're losing 10 yards, you're just floating it up in the sky. Well, where, where are we going from here then? It's a shaft that's going to help you hit down on it. Yeah. So feel, I'm going to say heavier is going to yeah. help feel like you're going to hit down on it more. Cool, let's do it. Stiffer, 7.0 Project X. Oh, that's based, you can't really get much stiffer or heavier of a shaft, am I right? It would be the X7 Dynamic Gold. Yeah. Or like an LA Golf Graphite, which is mega stiff. And interestingly, talk to me about shafts because it's important. I mean, you've got a good selection of shafts here, but the whole purpose of it is that you can fit quite a few numbers without having to be super expensive. KBS do a shaft for everything and they're all fairly priced. If we start putting some, you know, top, top end yeah. shafts, you're talking like a thousand quid for a set of irons. Defeats the purpose of coming sub 70 to save a bit of money. But this is an interesting point because obviously I've played quite a lot of golf. I've also played a lot with these. Therefore I do feel, don't go wrong, I like the shaft yeah. and I also like the head. Yeah. But it's me technically going, right, open your shoulders a bit to get rid of the um, path, try and hit a bit more down on it, timing, tempo. Which is, which is important to know, isn't it? Because I'm the big variable here. Yeah. You're just trying to get something in my hands that is gonna complement that, is that right? Yeah, so when I normally fit, if someone's come in with a number that is off, yeah. we will try and fix it, Yeah. because clubs can't do as much as 
people think. Felt like I swiped that one good. And it's push slice. <laughs> In an ideal world, yeah. we want four down, yeah. 21 dynamic loft. Bit leaky, but I feel like that was down. Keep. That's what I'm trying to get though. Yeah. If we load up the optimum flight window, that's the first one you've hit in the window. All I had to do was change everything about my swing and we actually got somewhat there then. Uh, 699 Pro verdict. Very good, very similar P790, i500, that kind of feel. I'm glad Nick agrees with me because a good portion of that session there was me basically changing my swing. This complements it. I do like a heavy shaft. I've always had 130 gram C tapers normally in my clubs and changes make a big difference. Equipment just needs to fit in with you and that slot, doesn't it? Yep. Right, we're going down the dagger route. What dagger are we going for? I'll let you um, recommend one. You're good enough, we'll go straight to the MB. Oh, nice, I love the way you said it, good enough. Definitely, did you just see my dispersion? <laughs> it looks so pretty. I mean, that's basically, let's be honest, when it comes to your equipment, price point, I'll definitely put up there, and hence why I'm here. Aesthetics though, who's coming up with the head designs? The guys in America, they've got a, their own design team. Still a bit right. I'd be interested to see what um, my attack angle was on that one. Much, much better. We're getting there. Another 100 balls, Nick. And I might be a decent golfer. So, Mum, you've been around 180? Yeah. 177. You're kind of achieving that? Decent it's numbers. just having the right shaft, right head, just helps that along. To be perfectly honest, I just feel more confident with his head. I, I feel like with the other one, if I was in the rough and it was heavy damn wind, I'm going to have to hit a knock down something because I feel like it's going to go 200 yards. I'm going to hit one out the toe. I want to see how painful it is. So this is going to be the big difference. This to the 699. Between the 699. There we go. To be fair, it's funny. It's amazing I've got a talent of miss hitting the ball. I've done it so many times. This is one out the toe. Right, this is the 699 Pro Test out the toe. I think I'm mid with that. <laughs> <laughs> be fair, I feel like I'm trying to toe it, but I find it a lot more harder. Okay, so. That's got to be close to the last one, isn't it? 13 mil toe. So. I've hit that more out the toe. Yeah. 13 mil out the toe, it carried 159. Yeah. Last one was 15 mil out the toe. Carried 173. And again, I mean, club head speed is higher, but we're only it's, talking yeah. a mile an hour. Which is about two Which yards. equates to like two, three yards. I could literally feel how hard this is to hit out of the toe. So I even said to you, I couldn't, I, was, I felt like I can't hit out of the toe, but because it's that much more solid, the MB just spun in my hands essentially. Whereas this, I still felt somewhat out in the middle, yeah. even though I hit it more out of the toe. Isn't practicing every week. Yeah. Just turns up the course, go straight to the first tee, out. Because your bad days will just be better. Nick, what have I got in my hand? The 649 MB. So this is the smallest blade shape we have. Interesting, I think I prefer the other one. I think I just feel more confident with the other one. This right that one where I felt like. Right, it's wedge time. But as I said to Nick, the interesting thing about wedges or wedge fitting is there's a massive gap. You go from hitting a seven iron or six iron off the shelf to then going, right, what wedges do I actually need? Do I need like a 50 degree, 56, 60, or what are the gapping? Because spin numbers are great, but let's be honest, yardages are more important at the low end of the bag. Now, sub 70, I haven't got a thousand wedges for you to obviously try, especially if you've got quite a custom option off the wall. This is actually Nick's um, iron itself here, one of the Tommy Armors, and then obviously gapping from there. Okay, good strike. That was more of where the swing needs to be. For your speed, yeah. bang on, 130. Yeah. So, next wedge, even though you might not hit it full. It needs to be 118 really, doesn't it? Yeah, exactly. Personal service, get to use um, uh, Nick's wedge. Best swing of the day, that. About 130 yards. <laughs> loft is a bit low yeah so we do need to get you hit in tight angles just a little bit steeper yeah so this is my iron that i definitely like so at the moment we've got project x 7.0s 
I'm not too sure if the Cartman on the back helped me. I like to think that it actually did. So 50, 54, 58, it's wood time. I think we should hit some drivers. So we've got a lot of popular choices in terms of shaft options. I presume it's just the same as a normal Project X, but with your little logo on it? Correct. Okay, perfect. It looks cool anyway. Then got a few fan favorites, Hazardous, and you've also got the Even Flow Riptide, which interestingly, Nick, you told me, actually some of the more cost-effective shafts on the market. Yeah, so with the woods, you know, we don't want to be up there four or five hundred pound. Yeah. We try and keep cost down. Yeah. What are you making me? Uh, Soft reg, 12 degree. Nine degree in the Pro, uh, RDX 6.5. And is this an aftermarket one or is this standard? Aftermarket, but it's upgrade wise, it's about 20 quid. So, so only 20 quid more. And that driver is 270, is that right? Yes. So 290 all together. 279, about 299 with the shaft. 299. Three ball marker? Freebies with everything. <laughs> yeah, freebies with everything. You heard it here first. Ask for freebies if you come here, all right? It's confirmed this driver goes as far as all the others, don't you think, Nick? I think so. It's an interesting one. Again, the whole point that I found from Sub 70 from start to finish is that the equipment is very good and it looks very good as well. It's not any better, but it's not any worse than anything out on the market. And because it's direct to consumer and they're saving money from potential organic growth, I think that's probably the reach, isn't it? Organic growth at the moment. And I mean, organic growth is working for you, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. The product speaks for itself. And I've got some decent numbers. We've got some decent club head speeds. Okay, I hit quite a few pull hooks, but we're working on the swing at the moment. But club head speed to ball speed ratio, you are getting the numbers that you need. Right. Fitting very much done. Interestingly though, just quickly, people that normally come down, Nick was saying, would go for the 699s themselves, and that's about 470. Five to wedge, 470, yeah. Which, again, is obviously a bit cheaper than uh, the MBs down the side here, and I think a lot more people probably would go down that route, which is worth bearing in mind. I think you've been fit for, has had some, you know, slightly exotic shafts. Or nice. Great. 1700. 1700 altogether, driver, fairway woods, wedges, and, and irons, all fitted and built by this man himself. You are basically club fitter sub 70 Europe, aren't you? Oh, yeah, yeah. The one man band that puts these all together. Do some more sketching on the four iron giveaway, which again, the guys very kindly give it away for the channel. So if you do want to win this bad boy, please go and follow sub 70's Insta. Obviously like and subscribe for the channel and comment down below what iron would you have gone from today for all the choice from sub 70 and I will ship this out to one of you. Again, massive thank you to you for obviously having me down and your time as well. As a club fitter and coach, and you know how honest I am, guys, by all means, you don't need brand new stuff. But if you are thinking about club fitting and you are thinking a session, I do highly recommend Nick. As he's going to give you two hours of his time for free. That's not necessarily a bad offer, is it? No, it is. <laughs> guys, thank you ever so much for watching this video. Catch you guys later.